Welcome back. The time is 844. We now bring you a story of a self-published author who is printing her third book today. One woman whose mind is as sharp as her pen and her soul as strong as her words. Every day for almost 70 years, Wally Meyer Check has written what she calls her letters, filling these notebooks. Every page is different. Which she self-published into two books over 50 years ago. Wally's books describe her own memories of Hitler and the Nazis marching into her town, upending her life and changing history. The devastation she never forgot. In 1942, she married an American soldier named John Check. And the long nights in 1952 when they were posted to Fort Bliss, that's when she started writing. I was sitting there and I was writing out of misery because he couldn't sleep, it was too hard. I started, it just automatically came because my memory was fresh. I just came from things and I figured sooner or later, people gonna hear about it. And like almost everything else, writing was a challenge. I asked Shani to spell the words because being only a year or two years in America, learning to be a citizen and not knowing much English, and uh, he would say, take a dictionary. And this is the dictionary that he gave me. In 1952, and he says, you want to uh, learn English? You want to write? You started it, you finish it, and I'm not going to help you. Her first book, Auf Wiedersehen, was published in 1964. The second, The Lost Years, Volume 2, came in 1971. Now over 50 years later, a third book, Op Peter Scene, Brings Happiness, Volume 3, is in the works, focusing on the journey of earning her citizenship, something of a love letter to her adopted country. And there's nothing more that makes me more happy than giving this gift to all American, and I know it will go worldwide. She started writing, hoping one day her own children would read these letters. She never had children, so these notebooks full of letters are for everyone, one letter at a time. Andrea Vasquez, ABC7. It's a very touching story, and that was our photojournalist, Andrea Vasquez, who is also our editor here on Good Morning El Paso Week, and I did that story. And if you would like to order this book, you can find that information on our website at kvia.com later today.